it was well over the diabetic threshold. Hello my friends, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm sharing my healing journey from chronic illness through the carnivore diet and also other methods of healing. And today I'm gonna to talk about blood sugar. And this is something that I haven't really brought up before. I wanted to share with you guys where things used to be with my blood sugar issues and now where I am and how much things have improved. So I would say three or four years ago, in the midst of my chronic illness journey when things were really bad, I was having issues with high blood sugar and also low blood sugar. And so my primary care doctor had run a bunch of tests. They had me do the glucose tolerance test, which is when you drink the nasty orange sugar water drink, which is something I would never ever do again. You couldn't pay me enough to drink that sugar water but anyway of course at that time i didn't know any better and i just took the test like my doctor recommended and they took my blood sugar at an hour two hours and i'm not sure if they did three hours or not um but basically at the two hour mark my blood sugar was i think it was 240 or 250 it was well over the diabetic threshold, but because of my A1C still being within a normal range, I was never diagnosed with diabetes. But I did have diabetic levels with the glucose tolerance test, and I was having high blood sugars in the high 100s and up to the high 200s after eating certain types of foods and meals. and obviously was having <laughs> symptoms from that and from other chronic issues that I was dealing with. But at that time, they did all sorts of tests and I'll put the blood work up here so you guys can see what the actual numbers were. I don't remember them exactly from off the top of my head, but I know that they were in the mid 200s. Um, my doctor at that time didn't really have a lot of advice for me. He thought I could have the beginning stages of adult onset type 1 diabetes because I was, I was not the characteristic of having type 2 diabetes. I was underweight and I was very young and there were certain markers that I had that kind of indicated a different type of pre-diabetes or diabetes, whatever you want to call it. But I did test negative for the type 1 antibodies at the time. In a way, it was a type of reactive hypoglycemia because my blood sugar would become really high and then it would just completely plummet. And that's when I would, you know, get the, get the shakes and I would go sort of like mentally just I wasn't there, I wasn't able to function. After doing that t glucose tolerance test by hour three or four, I was already at home, but I took my blood sugar with a monitor at home and it was really low, something like 50. And so I was having really crazy swings of blood sugar, you know, from the 40s and 50s to the mid high 200s. So obviously that's not a healthy thing. Um, and so my doctor really didn't have a lot of good recommendations at the time. As the years went on, I tried a, like a lower carb paleo diet and I also tried refined sugar free. I've been gluten free for a long time, but obviously it doesn't really necessarily help. Um, and then I tried vegetarian, which did not go well, as you guys can probably expect. And then ultimately I went to the carnivore way of eating, which I've been doing for over 10 months now. At the start of my carnivore diet journey, I had some pretty big struggles with blood sugar in the beginning for the first few weeks to month or so. It was really difficult for me to adjust. I was having super low blood sugar. I was like just mentally not there i was shaking i was so dizzy that i could barely get out of bed in the beginning the first few weeks of carnivore i'd have just a little bit of honey to get me through that transition phase until i got to the point where 
my blood sugar was safe enough to where I didn't need to have the honey because at that point I was so so sick that you know I was prone to passing out and I was prone to having non-epileptic seizures and I just, just things were not good so I'm glad that I added in those little bits of carbs in the beginning of my carnivore journey that's something that might help some people get through the initial blood sugar drops of not having any carbs in the beginning and now 10 months in I don't have those blood sugar crashes like I did in the beginning and obviously my blood sugar is not going up into the 200s for just eating meats um, it's fairly stable although to be honest I really don't monitor my blood sugar at all anymore I haven't taken it in months I really just am trying to take my focus away from things like that um, things like monitoring my illness but I do want to share this victory with you guys that I do not have reactive hypoglycemia anymore I don't have diabetic levels of blood sugar and, and my blood sugar to my knowledge is very stable I actually a couple months ago had some blood work done at around seven eight months of carnivore and I'm planning to do a full video showing you guys sort of the the differences between pre-carnivore blood work and seven months in carnivore blood work and there's some interesting things on there some things that uh, actually did surprise me but I think you guys might find it interesting so I'm gonna do a whole video on that but thankfully doing this way of eating has really helped my blood sugar to stabilize and in turn has really really helped my chronic fatigue and my post-exertional malaise which is what would happen when I would overdo it which for me could be like walking into the kitchen um, and that would give me these horrible crashes and symptoms and um, just like neurological difficulties and those are just so much better now um, I'm able to do so much more at this point in my journey I don't have to spend very much time in bed during the day I'm able to do a lot more things I'm able to go for walks, I'm able to cook my own food, I'm able to go out shopping, and I'm still not to the point where I am functioning like a normal, healthy human, but I've made so much progress and I'm really, really happy with where I'm at, and I'm just so thankful to not be where I used to be, and just for the progress that this way of eating has brought me, and honestly, it is such a blessing, and I don't ever wanna take any of this for granted. If you guys are struggling with some of the chronic health issues that I have struggled with in my journey or other different health struggles or mental health struggles and that's why you're starting this way of eating, just know that I am cheering you on. I am rooting for you and praying for you and um, I just hope that you find whatever works best for you and your health so that you can really enjoy life and feel good and feel healthy. Anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to share with you guys that little piece of my journey and I look forward to making lots of new videos soon. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe and follow along on Instagram and I will look forward to seeing you guys again very soon.